And this the system? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I've I watched you drive by two or three times. Sorry. Alrighty. Yeah, I didn't There's know five. I had a command down there where to go. If I'd have known it hit use them at all. Doing well. What you got for me? You said you were going to throw this stuff away? Well, I didn't know what to do with it. Yeah. It's, I mean, I know it's dusty, um, and I brought all the stuff to go with it, but my sister got the kids a new one, or right. like a refurbished one, or, and it's like more up to date. Okay. But this one plays, it just, like sometimes you have to restart it several times and it'll shut off. Okay. And then you'll have to restart it, and then it'll shut off. All right. Okay. So, That's and fine. I mean, I don't want to give it to anybody yeah. and it be I mean, I could broken. open it up and take a look at it. So. More than likely, it sounds like um, it's having fan issues and the fan's not kicking on. And when the fan doesn't kick on, it okay. overheats. And when it overheats, it shuts off. Okay. So that's what I'm thinking it might be um, okay, just so, off the top of my head. Okay. But it may I'll take be a look an easy it. fix. And, yeah. you know, do you want to take all this stuff too? Yeah, sure. I'll take that. Let me see a little bit. idea and i see your post on facebook so i was like well let me see if he you know yeah absolutely yeah, i'll take it cool all right that right all right there. that's all right um yeah he just sent me with let's this. take a take yeah. a look at it uh, i was gonna ask do you have any super nintendos um i've got i think i got one does it have Super Mario Brothers with it? I had Super Mario World three days ago and it sold. Well, what I'm saying is when I get my taxes, you yeah. know, I'm now, babysitting right now. For, I don't know. But when I get my taxes, I'm going to get a lot back. Okay. And I've been looking for one for my son for when he grows up. All right. That's what I grew up on. So if, by the time I get my taxes back, if you have that, I would love to buy one. Yeah, sure. Um, I find them very frequently. Oh, really? And so, um, he said there was a game. It's inside, though. It's inside? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, 20 bucks? Yeah. Okay. Um, there you go. Thank you. Yeah, I find...
this stuff. I hadn't tested before tested it before I left the house. That's alright. But it, I just wanted to just show you it, it worked. Are oh, the DS? Yeah. yeah. Cool. That is the have you seen those? It's the what's it called? The R4? The R4? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's the little adapter cool. for it. Zero emission. Zero emission. I yes. found I found the freaking pokey poke walker. Oh, that's awesome, man! <laughs> I was wondering if you had I, it. I tore the house apart, but I found it. <laughs> it was in a, in a box of old wedding photos. That was an odd place to be. Yeah, just I found it though. Man, you have some you have some good stuff in that picture. I'm <laughs> I'm interested in all of it, like I told you. Uh -huh. Um, you ever want to start selling more of it? Let me know. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, it looks uh, good. The uh, all these guys work. The uh, okay, so that one. Good deal. The okay. uh, DMG is here. The one with the nasty looking yellow case. It's a, uh, you know, it's got dead pixels on the, in yeah. the screen. And I, I know how to fix those. So like, that's, that's pretty seems easy. Seems like there's something missing. Maybe a screw missing out, out of the case or something. That corner's loose. And then, this one works pretty well, I think. Yeah, the best way I, to look at it is turn the contrast all the way down. If not, you see missing lines on it, yeah, I tinkered. Yeah. I think I tinkered with this one because it had, it did have missing lines. You know, you run your soldering iron over the the tape, and it it cleared it up. Yeah. Two, two what was this game? What were uh, you just running? A Pokemon game on no, it? No, that's a. Terminator. Terminator? T2? Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. It's alright. It's, it's Terminator something. Alright, so we got both DMGs, both SPs, and the Chargers, a, and Metroid Fusion, the DS Car Charger, Final Fantasy IV, the DS Lite, and the Box, Heart Gold, Pokemon, Pokemon Pearl, Pokemon Blue. Final Fantasy 3, New Super Mario Brothers, Phantom Hourglass, Metroid Fusion, I think was in here, Zero Mission, and the R4 adapter in 150. And the Chrono, Chrono Trigger in there. Chrono Trigger, yeah, Chrono Trigger too. <laughs> That's Fantastic. Fantastic. Arcade game. Oh yeah, cool. <laughs> I didn't even know. So there's 150, count that out, make sure it's all there. Okay. All right, fantastic. Scratch. 
Alright, let's go toss scratches. Alright, well, the two games I was won were the Godfather 2, and that's not in there. It's not in there, not in the cases? No. And then NBA 2K18, and that's got top scratches all on it, so it'll skip whenever you put it in a PS3. So I'm have to pass on the games, but I'll... Where's the Sega stuff? It's in here. And uh, I said, what, 15 on the Sega stuff? Yeah. Okay. And here's 15 for the Sega stuff. Alright. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Sorry I couldn't it's get right. in on the games. Um... Okay, YouTube. I recently received a package from one of my subscribers. And he sent me two Game Boys. And the red one here, if you take a look at it, has some LCD damage. And you can see right here in the black spots. Uh, when you're ever, whenever you're hunting in the wild, if you come across Game Boys that have these black spots, there's nothing that can be done uh, to fix that except to replace the entire screen. Uh, there are options out there available uh, for screen replacement, um, but if you're wanting to keep uh, an OEM screen, I would avoid picking these up unless you can get it really dirt cheap. And then you're eventually going to have to swap it out with one as a good screen. And so that's what he did here. He sent me two. And so I'm going to take uh, the screen out of this one, uh, just the board with the screen attached. And we're going to put it in this shell. And I received some, some gear from Handheld Legend. And we are going to be installing a backlight into it. So we've got some, some wires here for the backlight itself. Uh, we've got the bivert chip here. And so we're going to be backlighting and by, uh, installing the bivert chip. There's the backlight with the uh, extra polarizer film. Here's an extra polarizer. I always order them extra whenever I, uh, whenever I order these, even though they do come with it. And then this is the dark gray play it loud glass screen. Uh, so that's going to match the buttons really well on his red play it loud system. So when, whenever we're done with this, uh, he'll have a nice red play it loud system with a nice fresh backlight, good looking screen. And uh, yeah, let's get started. First thing we need to do is open these up and I need to remove uh, the boards. Um, with the screens attached. So next shot you'll just see uh, you'll see these opened up with the with the screens removed. Okay so the hard part is over because I have taken it apart both consoles both DMGs. I took the good screen and I have already removed the reflector shield and the polarizer. Came off nice and smooth and uh, so now I'll be cleaning the glass on the LCD making sure there's no spots and then we can get the wires soldered onto the backlight, get that installed, get the polarizer installed, and then we'll hit up the bivert chip. Okay, so 
I have got the backlight screen installed or the backlight installed and the uh, new polarizer go ahead and turn it on and as you can see it has not been diverted yet that is the next step but there you have it it's looking good so far okay so I've installed the bivert chip the uh, backlight is installed and we have contrast all right so uh, I've already gone ahead and cleaned um, the, the contacts on the board last thing to do is get this thing put back together all right so we've got it all reassembled we got the new glass screen in it let's put the battery pack on the back looking good fantastic there you have it folks Okay. All righty. I got it over for you. Check those out. Okay. You mind if I set them here? Okay. Oh, yeah. Everything looks like it's in good condition here. Had a, oh, yeah. She had a regular Nintendo, the original. Right. And she had a Sega Genesis. And um, she used to play that. And I got this, and that's why I got some games that I felt like I got a couple that I could play. But yeah. But she found the controllers were too complex because there was, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of buttons on it. Got buttons and switches and, and joysticks everywhere. <laughs> it's too much. Yeah. And, uh, I don't think she'd be playing baseball, but I, I guarantee you I would have been. That Luigi's Mansion's fun. All right, so we got the games there. And this is the system? Yeah. Okay. Controller, microphone, no, that's all right. I can look in there. Power supply should be in the table. Yeah. Um, cable microphone, everything like it came. Cool. 80 bucks for everything? I'll take it. All righty. Sounds good to me. You're good to know. There you are. Count that out, make sure it's all there. Yes, sir. All right. Oh yeah, Justin. It's like 25 games here. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's like four controllers. There's two guns. I didn't even realize it. Okay. I'll tell you how old it is. Remember we had the old TV. We used to have to hook these. Oh up yeah. To screw everything. Oh yeah, up. absolutely. And there's. One power cord. I got two consoles, but only one power cord. That's fine. I, I've got extra power cords at the house. And I don't know exactly what game you ain't got or you're looking for. But I think there's 25 games. There's 
24 or 25 games. I hate to get rid of it, but I'd play this thing for a while that it would sit <laughs> up. And I'd play it for a while and halfway through it and just start over. Yeah. But these are the old original systems. Yep. I've got a bunch of these. I used to love right. playing that Tiger Hill Healy or whatever it is. Oh yeah. You see I pay, used to pay three dollars a piece for a lot of these games. Yeah. But a lot of them are original to come with it. But they, huh? just, they just sit there and I told her, I said, you know, I'm going to let somebody else do it. I put it online one time and people would offer me 50 and 60 and 70. And I'm yeah. like, I just ain't giving it away. I usually do about two bucks a game and then 20 for the console. It takes me a while to refurbish these. And you can see these things. It's just yeah, they're going to have to be clean. I don't know if you can re redo these and clean them. That these that are shot. like they're afraid those are just no good yeah, but the only, there's only one that's taped up like that the but those uh them. those controllers can be cleaned up anything can be cleaned yeah i just think that time i thought i'm messing with it i'll just put somebody else that does it but i figured you bought them and resold them here's 105. count that make sure it's all there Alrighty. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hey, if you come across anything else, let me know. No, that's alright, dude. How you doing? Waiting on the ride. Good. Take a look at it. About to get the rain. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, that's what I was asking if the joysticks were loose like that. Yeah. Then uh, they usually need to be replaced. Oh, they work good though. Yep. That was a little. That was all right. Everything works. Is that Madden? Revenge, Rush Two. Golden Eye. System. All right. Forty-five. Yes, sir. I right, count that, make sure it's there. Yes, sir. All right, man. Yes, sir. Okay, YouTube. Oh, God, it's been two good weeks back to back. Mm, I'm pumped. This is going to be a fantastic year. I can feel it. 2020 is just going to be banging with some pickups this year. All right. This is going to be in no particular order. I'm going to try to go uh, the way I remember picking them up. I stopped in the pawn shop, and there was a whole rack full of Super Nintendo games. Some that I did not have in my collection, and some that I did that I could... Uh, sell and flip and recoup the money that I was spending. He wanted 30 bucks for all the games that I picked up, 
All the ones that I picked up to flip have already sold, and you can see that in the uh, sold section um, after the clip. Uh, but I picked up this really nice condition Super Nintendo controller. Uh, there was another one there, but I had a frayed cable, so I left it behind. But the three games going into the collection are Double Dragon 5, uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, and Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. Not the best condition labels here, but Tournament Fighters is really good. So, I'll have to make some room here, because we got a lot to go through. And, uh, let's see. Picked up this Xbox 360 from uh, this lady I know. She said it did not work. It was cutting off and on. It came with a connect and power cable and the AV cables. It did, however, have a 250 gigabyte hard drive. So this is not actually the 360 that she gave me. This is the 360 that I picked up in that huge tote from last week. And this one was without a hard drive when I found it in the tote. I put the hard drive in it and it works perfectly. So got it bundled with um, cables and whatnot and got it listed. Then let's see. I had a subscriber send me a package he was like hey all I want for you to do is to pay shipping and you can have everything and now some of these consoles work some of them don't he want he just sent them for refurbish uh, projects for me to mod but he sent a whole little slew of games and those games were Rainbow Six Rogue Spear Namco Museum uh, GT Advance, Splinter Cell, Pandora's Tomorrow, uh, Pandora Tomorrow, Army Men Air Combat, Construction Zone, T2, The Humans, and Krusty's Funhouse. So he sent me all those games along with everything in this box here. So we've got like a carry pouch, um, an Atomic Purple Game Boy Color. This does work. And we've got another Game Boy Color. Actually, one of these, I think, doesn't work. Um, no, actually, this, this Atomic Purple is from a different lot. He sent me this. He sent me this Game Boy Color. It does work. It doesn't have a battery cover. Um, the screen cover on this really scratched. It, it needs a whole new shell replacement. Sent me uh, Game Boy DMG. There were two of them, actually, and I've already taken one of them apart and taken the screen out, and it is sitting in a, a different box. Um, he sent me a Game Boy SP-001. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. It works just fine. Uh, it does have some residue here on the shell. It could use a shell swap just to make it cos uh, cosmetically looking better. Um, he sent me a DS Lite. This works, however, as soon as you touch the uh, touchpad, it turns off. So I think that pad just needs to be replaced. And then a Game Boy camera and a couple of uh, Light Boys here. But yeah, some, some projects to work on for, for uh, some, some handhelds. And a bunch of games I didn't have, so... Happy to add those to the collection. I think I do have Namco Museum. But we'll make some more room here. I traded uh, Collector's Luck six uh, N64 games that he needed for his collection. And I snatched up a bunch of Game Boy games from him. Nothing crazy here. I mean, we, we traded common for common, value for value. But we've got Play Action Football. Uh, NFL Football. WWF Superstars 2, Tetris 2, uh, Nintendo World Cup, Crash Dummies, Caesar's Palace, and the best two out of the lot were Star Wars and Balloon Kid. So thank you, Collector's Luck, for that trade. I do appreciate it, and I hope you are enjoying the games that I sent you. Picked up um, a Sega bundle for 15 bucks. Now, it didn't come with 
power cable and all the hookups. Um, but I have all those and I've already tested this and it does work. Now, you can see in the video clip that this thing was nasty. It was very dirty. But I was able to clean it all up and get it in good working condition. So we've got the Sega Genesis Model 2 with the 32X and two controllers for 15 bucks. That's a fantastic score there. Then I had probably one of the best handheld uh, pickups I've ever had in my life. This guy hit me up on Facebook Messenger and he showed me a picture of everything that he had available that he was eventually wanting to sell and get rid of. And it was a lot. This guy is a collector. He takes very good care of his stuff because everything that I got from him was in immaculate condition. Um, and he had some really he he gave me a really good deal on everything so i i couldn't i couldn't pass this up um so i'm going to be able to add some some games to my collection but you saw that uh, i got a ds a cobalt ds light in the box that sold two red uh game boy advance sps those sold um new super mario brothers for the ds that's already sold um there might have been like one other thing that I've already sold from that lot, but what I'm going to be able to keep for the collection for free, because I spent $150 on that lot, Pokemon Heart Gold, the Poke Walker edition. Very happy to find that, and this thing is immaculate. There's not a crease or a dent on that box. Pokemon Pearl. Uh, Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Final Fantasy 3, Metroid Zero Mission, Metroid Fusion, Super Mario World, uh, Super Mario Advance 2, and Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3, the not for resale cart. What I have got listed for sale out of that is um, Final Fantasy 4, loose cart, Chrono Trigger, loose cart. Uh, Super Mario Advance 4, the just regular edition, the not not for resale. Uh, Pokemon Blue, and this is just probably going to be bundled with a Game Boy. Uh, it doesn't have a label. It's a copy of T2, but picked up some really nice stuff on him. Also got an R4 from him. I don't have it up here on the table, but I did pick that up from him as well. Then I picked up a Wii for 20 bucks, and inside it was Wii Sports Resort. Now this is currently trading in for $12, so I'll be able to get $12 in my cash back right there. That leaves the Wii for eight bucks, and I already sold it for $49.99. So fantastic on that pickup. And then we got a huge haul today. Now these two Game Boys right here actually came from that handheld lot. Um, one of them had missing pixels, and I've already taken the boards out, fixed the pixels, and prepped the screen ready for a backlight. And then this one here needs uh, some extra work too, I believe, if I remember correctly. Then we've got a huge haul today. I picked up two NESs, about 23 uh, NES games, an N64 a lot, and my favorite pickup of the entire year, of the entire week, is this GameCube bundle. But we'll start over here. So, two NESs, three controllers. Did come with a fourth controller, but it had a frayed cable, so I just tossed it. Uh, same thing with the Zapper. It had a very bad frayed cable, so I tossed it. But these were in good condition. And then we got the two systems. And then all the games on the left are going to be doubles for me. So we got Paperboy, Gradius, Zelda, Sky Shark, Double Dragon, Battletoads, Rad Racer 2, Pro Wrestling, Tiger Healy, and NFL. All of these I'll be keeping for the collection. Star Tropics, Win, Lose, or Draw, Battle Tank, Cabal, Base Wars, Anticipation again. California Games, Pinbot, Silent Service, Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. I always keep those to bundle with systems. Abadox, Baseball Stars 2, and Donkey Kong Classics. Uh, picked up that entire lot there. 
for a hundred and five dollars then I picked up this N64 lot for 45 bucks. Two controllers, they both work, the system is tested, and the black one I will be keeping for the collection. I did not have the black controller. Good thing about the N64, it came with the expansion pack. Um, four games, we got a Madden game, uh, Rush 2, WCW NWO Revenge, and the best one out of the lot is GoldenEye. I will be able to bundle the system with the red controller, uh, sell GoldenEye separately, and bundle it with those three games. Probably get about 80 bucks for it. Then, wow, this is my favorite pickup of the week by far. Uh, this amazing GameCube lot. Uh, this older gentleman hit, hit me up and, and sent me pictures of this. I immediately jumped on it and he said shoot me an offer just throw any number out there and I threw out 60 bucks he countered with 80 and I didn't even haggle because I I figured he was gonna you know counter with a hundred and we'd meet in the middle at 80 so I was I was more than happy to pay 80 for this the um, the box inside is missing the manual and the inserts and the cardboard for everything to sit in but as far as everything being there uh it's there so we got the box we got the two controllers that it came with we got the microphone that it came with the system is set itself is just immaculate hello like there's no scratches on it there's none it's it's pristine and so we got the power cable and we've got the av cables and then we got this whole stack of games here and as you can see it is the Mario Party 7 bonus set so it came with the Indigo controller the microphone and Mario Party 7 so we got the Indigo the microphone and Mario Party 7 so it's all there just minus the cardboard insert the manuals any other uh, gaming inserts that should have been in there Luigi's Mansion is a double for me that is already listed Mario Party 7, I did not have, so that is going into the collection. Sonic DX Adventure Director's Cut, that is going into the collection. Another uh, GameCube exclusive I did not have. For GameCube, I primarily uh, hold on to just exclusives. Now, if I happen to have a game on the GameCube that's not exclusive, but I don't have it on another system, well, then I hold on to it until I can find it for the system I prefer to have it on. So, holding on to this one, WrestleMania 19, I believe that is, uh, only for GameCube. That's another one going into the collection. Wave Race, Blue Storm, that's another exclusive going into the collection. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie, that is actually a condition upgrade because all of these are complete. They all have their manuals. All the discs are super minty. This guy took really good care of his stuff. But that is condition upgrade. Here is my copy. So you can see it's all ripped. It's pretty nasty. I just don't come across a lot of GameCube stuff. So when I do come across it, I kind of hang on to it until I can improve the condition. And uh, so I'll be listing that and getting rid of that. Sonic Heroes. This is also a condition upgrade. Um, here's mine. And... Mine is missing the manual, and the the d condition of the disc is not that great either. So those are the two condition upgrades, and then we've got MVP MVP Baseball 2005, Shrek 2, Ed Man 2009. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going. I've got a black GameCube. I think I'm going to sell mine, hang on to this one since it's just in such good condition. And then that's getting sold, sold, sold. Um, these are getting sold. And I've got this listed separately. So I think I will bundle my black GameCube with all of these games. Get that listed, get that sold. And then I get to add all of these into the collection. And I get to add this awesome box. And... The microphone, the controllers, and this mint condition GameCube. But there you have it, folks. 
Hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon when you do so you receive notifications every single time I upload new content. Folks, ugh, it was a fantastic week again. I hope you've had a fantastic week, and I know I have. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.